dueño del oro y la plata Quisiste meter un tro de mano, pero al final metiste la foto Soy hijo del jefe, no me hables de F que no me hace falta Tengo lo mío clavado y nunca ando moca, mi gente está cuarta Ángeles que me protegen, donde quiera que voy ellos me siguen Tú persigues bendiciones, a mí las bendiciones me persiguen porque Soy rico de cuna, hijo del rey eres de una fortuna Zivar Sisi, we're going to start writing. This is the hair that I decided to use for this hairstyle this time. There's her jumbo twist, and they are freaking amazing. I'll leave the name in the description box down below. Yep, that's me, messing everything up all the time. I'm just showing you here that the hair is pre-looped, which is awesome. Using hair ties to part my hair in five different sections. I was going to do four. There's no reason why I did four, five other than my hair is apparently thick so four was just not gonna cut it um i'm using this clustered to moisturize my hair and i'll leave the name of that in the description box down below as well i have this coconut oil and then i'm gonna finger detangle my hair and you know i was just worshiping the lord where i was doing this and i was just feeling it and i was just yes jesus but i'm using some jamaican black castor oil and you know um, what's funny, uh, I used all the oils that I could find just because my hair was going to be put away for a long time. So here I'm going in and ham with this <laughs> in and ham. I'm pretty sure that's not how the saying goes, but with this denim brush and then I'm using this main choice oil that is a growth oil. I can't tell you yet how it works because I've only had it for so long and I haven't been using it like religiously. Do not come for me at my party now. Do not do that. That's not godly. Do you see the definition? Anyways, I decided to do a twist and then realized the twist was just not going to do. So I'm just showing you here what not to do. Do not do these with twists, okay? Use plaits. They stay, they make the jumbo twist stay more firm and they don't show as much as the twist show. So here you can see that I switched it to plaits all over my hair. And I'm just showing you that I'm adding some water to this part because it got, you know, it got dry by the time I came to the front. Then I'm using my cluster and then I'm using my oils and then I am farther detangling. And we all know how to do plaits, right? Three strands, all of that. Okay, good. We lit. Towards the end, I'm just using... um. A rat tail comb just to make sure that it's really detangled like the ends are really detangled and then i added some more oil so this is how full it looks after one pack i have to get up and show you guys like this this is one pack of hair um you know if you can see me from back there and it's taking me like 30 minutes to do this one first one pack and the first one usually takes you longer because i'm getting the hang of it and you know i feel like now i'm getting the hang of it so it, it might you know the time might go down so this is how full the hair looks after three packs of hair and just in case you wanted to know how full it looks or how many packs you wanted to use okay so finally oh i also wanted to show you the ends of the hair in case you want to keep that in mind as well because i know that was a big thing for me but finally i'm going to show you how to crochet okay so i put the crochet needle through the uh, plait at the end then i take my twist open up the loop and put it in the little loop of the crochet needle pull it through and then let loose okay once we're here we're going to take the end of the twist and open up the um, loop and I'll pull the twist only through that loop notice that I am leaving my plait out and I'll pull the plait down and make sure that the twist is going up when I pull this way the twist can fall on top of the plait instead of it being the other way around now I'm going to hide the plait by going in the little twirl crap that the twist got going on Try not to skip any of the little twirls or twists or curls or whatever, because this will determine how much your plaits can be noticeable in the twist, okay? So you can kind of see it here because of course I'm closed up and the lighting and everything and you guys know what I'm doing. But if you see me on a regular, regular day, you're not gonna even be able to tell, okay? 
And this is just how you do it. I'm going to let you guys watch it on this next one. And I'm going to be quiet. All right? Okay. So here you're going to see, and you can clearly tell that I have plaits in the twist, and that's because I skipped some of the twirly stuff, okay? Some of the twirly stuff on the twist. And that's what I was trying to tell you guys before not to do, because this is going to make the hairstyle look even more natural. Just take your time to do it. The hairstyle doesn't even take that long. Altogether, it took me like four hours to do, and that was, you know, between stopping and figuring out how it was done and everything. But this is how it looks at the end. Let me tell you, I was feeling myself, okay? This is my first time having my hair this long and I was just feeling it, okay? You can part it anywhere. You can put it up, put it down, look good, look what's up, look what's good, okay? All right. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video. I'll see you on my next one. God bless you. I love you so much. I love you like monkeys love bananas. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And share with everybody. Share with your haters and faux haters. Okay. Good night.